Okay, this how-to video is going to describe how to use the impedance based feature inside AllCAD PCB Designer Professional and Allegro PCB Designer. So in Constraint Manager under the Electrical Routing Impedance Worksheet we can actually specify a, a target um, impedance with a value. So if I was to specify a 60 ohm impedance here, um, I've got a 2% tolerance by default, the tools will use a BEM 2D field solver to calculate the track thickness to give me a 60 ohm track. And the way it does is, is, is it's looking at the cross section of the PCB, so we need to go to set up cross section or use the cross section icon. Um, and we can actually look at the values that for, for the material, the bore thickness, the dielectrics, etc. This all needs to be accurate um, to get a, a reasonable calculation on the impedance. So for example, if we use the, the single impedance calculator here, um, for me to get a 60 ohm impedance or 60 ohm track on inner layer one, um, I'd need to put in a track thickness of, of 4.6 mils. Now, just as an example, if I was to set uh, the, the, the cross section of the board and just adjust the thickness of the FR4 and recalculate this at 60 ohms, it now says that I would need to put a, a track thickness of 10.67. Um, now, in this example, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to undo that. So let's just change this back to 9.8. 9.8 and we'll put in a 60 ohm impedance so it says 4.6 so that's the value that it's going to use so um, because I set the impedance value at 60 ohms when I start to route if I go to the add connect command and I click on the rat's nest that has that impedance rule you can see from the track thickness if I get the right layer so signal layer one route the track I get a 4.6 mil thick track and that's the track thickness I need to get meet my 60 ohm impedance if I was to route another connection, you can see that that then uses the default line thickness. So it, it calculates that based on the impedance required to generate the rule for the impedance.